In this video, I want to try and answer the question about what is the power of the light bulb. Now, usually, um, if if we buy a light bulb, we would be given um, the specification, like what voltage we should use with the light bulb and what current we would get. And we would also uh, be given the power uh, of the light bulb on the package, um, at least for the usual uh, more common ones. Now, what I'd like to do here is to relate this is the power of the light bulb to uh, the, the current and the voltage from the battery. So let me start by taking an example. Let me start by taking an example of a, say a, a voltage of 1.5 volts for the battery. I suppose that when I when I connect this up, now I, I'm just going to pick some uh, some numbers just to show how we can calculate the power from from the voltage and the current if we if we know if we know these. So let's say let's say that the the current just for example is zero point five ampere. Okay, so I have, a con I have this constant current going around the circuit and I have this battery and it's connected to the light bulb. But the, the way to find the power, the way to find the power um, is this. We can first, we can start by thinking about the meaning of power. Now the meaning of power is the energy the energy converted, say from one form to another, in this case from electrical or the chemical energy in the battery to to the to the electricity and then to the heat and light from the bulb. So the energy here would be the energy say uh, converted from electrical energy to, to heat and light. So this energy divided by a certain time. If you think of a certain time, like one second or, or one minute or some period, and if you take the energy given out by the light bulb during this time and we divide the two, then we get the power. So this is the meaning of power. Now, in order to relate this, let me um, look at the meaning, start by looking at the meanings of, of 1.5 volts and, and the meaning of 0 0.5 ampere. What do these really mean? So, let me write this down. If I say 1.5 volts, if I say 1.5 volts, what it, what it means is that when one coulomb of charge flows, um, flows through the light bulb, Okay. Assuming that the, the 1.5 volts is the voltage across the light bulb, when one coulomb of electrical charge of, or electrons flows through the light bulb, 1.5 joules of work is done. So 1.5 volt here means that 1.5 joules of work is done on make this quite clear when one coulomb of charge one coulomb of um, charge or electrons in this case right, flows through 
the light bulb. So, for example, if if we wait longer and two coulombs of charge flows through, then it would be two times 1.5. The 0 0.5 ampere means the 0 0.5 ampere here means that 0 0.5 coulombs of charge. Okay. Um, in one second, in one second, flows part is the same, flows through the bulb. Okay. Um, Now, perhaps uh, for just to clarify one point. Now, let me go back a little, uh, to to this one point five volt meaning. Now, it might be better if I say um, is the work done. Might be better to say to bring. One coulomb of charge from let's see from maybe uh, one side of the bulb to the next. Let's say the one point five volts is the in this case I'm going to think about it as the 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 voltage between two points. The voltage or potential difference is always between defined between two points. Say I call that A and B. So I would just say from A to B. Okay. Now this way of expressing it is better because if I say flows through a bulb, like I say for the current, it's we usually think of it as flowing past a certain point. Okay, and that's fine when we talk about current. We, we always think about how much charge flows past a certain point. But for potential difference, it is always uh, more correct to think about it as, as a difference in potential between two points. So it's better to make the two points quite clear. Okay, so coming back to this, uh, let's, let's look at this two meanings of the 1.5 volts and 0 0.5 amperes. Let's look at it in, in relation to this meaning of power. Now power, um, as this equation says, is energy over time. Okay, or it can also be work done over time. If you look at now look at this meaning, you see that there is there is a time here. There is a time here. And there is this work done down here. Okay, then there is this work done down here. So, how can we put these together? We can we can do it this way. Now, in the time, let's say the time, let's say the time is the one second. Okay, let's say the time is the one second. Then, in the one second, okay, we have a charge of zero point five coulombs. We have a charge here, okay, which is zero point five coulombs. Now, and we know um, that if we bring one coulomb of charge from A to B, that means through the light bulb, the one point five joules of work is done. But what if I bring 0 0.5 coulomb instead of 1 coulomb? Well, as we understand from the meaning of um, this sentence, if it's 0 0.5 coulomb, I would just multiply 1.5 joules by 0 0.5. So therefore the work done, the work done, as we understand, 
and we must get it from the voltage times the charge okay which would be the 1.5 1.5 volts times the charge of 0 0.5 and this work done therefore um, will give the energy uh, of the light bulb okay so the power therefore is the same as the work done divided by time which in this case would be this 1.5 times 0 0.5 okay divided by the time which is the one second now if we if you then multiply these together we get an answer of 0 0.75 and the unit for power is watts so that's how we would do it we could do it by um, thinking through the meaning of voltage or potential difference and the meaning of current and by putting these meanings together we can then calculate a value for the power given out by the, by the light bulb and we would understand this power as since, since it's this, this work uh, is being done to move the charge through the light bulb right, this work will be converted into because of energy conservation um, it, uh, there's, since there's no other form of energy all of this work every second must be converted into light and heat coming out from the light bulb so having seen how we could do it this way it would be useful to make a formula to calculate power in terms of the voltage and the current okay so that we can use it more uh, easily rather than having to think through all these uh, meanings every time right? although it's it's always useful to to do that so what um what we could do is this let me start by giving representing uh, uh, the voltage by a symbol i'll call it v i'll represent the current by a symbol i okay now and coming back to here we know that the relation between q and t charge and time um, is uh, current equals to charge over time okay that's the relation for charge time and current uh, and we already have the relation between work voltage and, and charge down here so let's look at these numbers let's follow through these numbers but this time i'm going to think about I, i'm going to uh, uh put symbols here instead so the 1.5 was actually actually the voltage so that's actually v that's actually v the 0 0.5 here 0 0.5 here uh it was the current but as i've used it it was the charge that i uh, obtained for for the one second so the 0 0.5 here is the charge and the one there is the one second which is the time so in this way all right it, it's quite clear that uh what i've what i've done in this calculation is i've taken i've taken the voltage multiplied by the charge uh, that goes through the light bulb in this time t which i took to be one second Okay. but if let's say the time is not t uh, the voltage is not 1.5 let's say the time is not one second i can also do uh, use this calculation right i can also get the answer by multiplying the v by the q voltage by the charge and divide by the time taken so this means that i can use this as a formula in other words okay so let me write let me write this out um maybe up, up here perhaps power power is equal to v times q times t all right 
voltage times charge, oh sorry, uh, divide by T, not times T. But we, we also know, we also know that charge over time is current. So therefore I can also write Q over T as I, V times I. So now we have a formula uh, that is written directly in terms of voltage and current. So power is equal to voltage times current. And this is a useful formula. This is a useful formula to remember. Okay, well, for convenience, we might want to leave that part out. So let me. Uh, let me just just write this part out separately. So V I is the power. Okay. So I just put a square bracket, a, a rectangular box over this. So power is equal equal to voltage times current, and that is a useful formula if if we know the voltage and the current and we want to find the power. 